Okay, so a bunch of you guys have been telling me not to open the red chest from the recent community challenge because you're supposed to be guaranteed a legendary item in it and apparently no one's been getting them and it's all just a bit weird. Now, I'm not sure. I may or may not be too late on this. As you can see, I have opened the red chest, but I haven't actually opened the pack yet. So, like, am I too late or what? I'm going to keep hold of that pack until, you know, some more information comes out about it. You know, I'm not expecting a good legend out of it anyway. It's probably just going to be another hat. So, I mean, it doesn't make my much difference to me but I guess I'll hold on to it. But how's this for annoying? I literally went open that red chest and then all of about five minutes later I found this out. It's times like this you wish this game could be like Forza and just have a rewind button and just rewind five minutes and leave the chest. But who knows I might not be too late. Maybe I did the right thing by not opening the pack. So you'll have to excuse me in this video. I am pretty tired at the moment and I feel a little bit ill as well. Kind of woke up just feeling a bit nah. you know when you wake up sometimes and your stomach just it just doesn't feel right. You're not entirely sure why you don't know what caused it all you know is something ain't right. How's it going? The tiredness is my fault because I stayed up hella late last night. Basically, some of you already know this, but I am a fan of WWE. All right, don't slam me too hard. That was a really bad pun. Unintended. And my, my blindness to fucking bean bombs continues. Oh, uh, why do you like watching fake wrestling? It's not even real. Eh. Yeah, well, do you know what? Movies aren't real either, but it doesn't stop you from watching them, does it? Exactly. Thank you. I have the worst accuracy. Okay, yeah, you, I saw that bean bomb. Isn't that incredible? I actually saw that one. And I was just about to start claiming that bean bombs are invisible. But I've been watching their pay-per-views for years. And even before the WWE Network was a thing, I used to trawl around for these live streams where I could just watch them without actually having to like pay or anything like that. And then when the WWE Network came out, I was like, yeah, that's fine. Do you know, what? I will quite happily pay £10 a month to watch the pay-per-views. And I do. I stay up every month and I watch the pay-per-views. As sad as it sounds, I actually do it. Yes, it means staying up till four in the morning, which it, 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 that's not a good thing. I still do it though, I don't care. The majority of the time, it is worth it. And last night was one of the big four pay-per-views. It was Survivor Series. In the kind of calendar of pay-per-views, there are the big four. There's the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and then Survivor Series. And Survivor Series this year was especially hyped up because, you know, people have been wanting Goldberg to come back for years. And everyone was always going, oh, it's never gonna happen, it's never gonna happen. And he finally did come back and he had his rematch with Brock Lesnar, something people thought was never gonna happen. And it was hyped up to be this really big epic match, even though there were some people going, oh, the last match was shit, so this one's gonna be just a shit. And I wasn't really sure what I thought about it. I mean, I wanted Goldberg to win, but I thought Lesnar was gonna win. Just because WWE have basically spent the last two years building Lesnar up to be this, just this unstoppable force that no one can be. In the last two years, he shit on just about everyone. And I thought they were gonna do the same thing to Goldberg. I thought he was just gonna get stomped. So. <laughs> <laughs> How wrong was I? Rest in peace, Brock Lesnar. Dude gets squashed in a minute and a half. A minute and a half. I don't know my Survivor Series history, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the shortest main event ever. I really shouldn't be using the astronaut. That's why I'm using him. I wanted that damage upgrade. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with Brock Lesnar now that, well, he's just he's just been legitimately buried. Just like I fucking was right there! Good kill. But I'm, I'm genuinely intrigued to see what they're going to do with this. I don't think we're going to see any more of Goldberg, to be honest. I mean, what that match actually kind of told me is that his body really wasn't up to it. I mean, don't get me wrong. He looks amazing. Like, he looks just as good as he did 12 years ago. But I think the reason he put off coming back to the ring for so long is because his body wasn't up to what it would be put through. I mean, going through a match is one thing, but going through a match with Lesnar is it's just a completely different ball game. As great as he looked, I don't think his body was up to what it would have been put through if he had had a full-on match with Lesnar. And I think for them to bury him in a minute and a half would have kind of shit all over his legacy so I guess they just decided to bury Brock which is a shame because really neither of them are people that you want to see get buried I mean for fuck's sake this was the guy who ended the Undertaker's undefeated streak at Wrestlemania and you just had him buried like he was fucking James Ellsworth it's funny because 90% of people probably have no idea what I'm on about look we're all nerds here we all have things that we get excited over let's just leave it at that fake wrestling just happens to be one of the things that I get excited about when I put it like that it sounds really sad <laughs> See, he doesn't even need to taunt when he kills me. That fucking cuckoo clock is enough of a taunt in itself. Get in. The game goes on. This guy is hitting... He's hitting some serious damage. I think I'm excited about this guy. Wait until I get the marine biologist up to elite level 5. I just got him to elite like about 20 minutes ago. and Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get damage for him. He's hitting 45s now. Fuck, I can only imagine what he's going to be hitting. 
Whoop. Alright, not bad. Okay, I'll take it. Dude, just give it up. You are not going to beat this guy. The astronaut was disgusting enough as it is. Now he's just, whoa, he's just on a whole new level now. J just line him up. I'm just taking them all out. Next. 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 <laughs> oh, this is brutal. This is getting stupid now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Astronaut, calm down. Holy fuck, look how many kills I have already. And I joined this game late as well. Oh, look at that. Just swept the two of them out of there. Oh, that was close. Wait, what? That's it, we got his number. We got him, we got him, we got him. It's fine, it's cool. We got him. P Gatling just around here. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, fuck off. Look at this kid. He's still in this corner. Get the fuck out of here. If I get killed by one more beam bomb, I swear to God, I'm going to rage quit. Wow, we're actually going to lose. After all that, we couldn't even win. But sorry, can I just take a moment to say, on behalf of all that is holy, get shit on. Oh, I'll tell you, all, all, their, all their man on the other team, they're not going to be the same after this.